Welcome back everybody to back to Terraria. This is Papa Meerkat and you probably noticed in the last episode that I had my inventory was still filled plus my uh, piggy bank was still filled when we went to the jungle. I uh, cleared everything up so it's nice and neat again and I think in this episode we're gonna go back to the jungle. We're gonna get the rest of the stingers and stuff. I said I was gonna do that off camera, but I said, nah, I'm gonna save that for you guys to watch. Because it's exciting going to the jungle. I uh, replaced uh, the aglet with the uh, anklet of the wind. And this has melee speed. And this says two I found in the chest. So I didn't do anything except for. Except for uh, straightening up my inventory. Didn't want you guys to see all that. So we're going back to the jungle. And I'll, if I can get all the parts I need. Like stingers. Some more. Uh, the spores. Well, then we're going to go and probably start our elevator. In this episode. Because what I like to do. If I get enough gold. Hope I can get some while I'm in the jungle. is to build armor. I turned in what gold I had and I only have like 35 bars or something or 30 bars and you need at least 90 to make a full set of armor. I haven't gotten a meteor to come down yet. Usually if you destroy the shadow orbs and the corruption you sometimes get a chance to get the meteor to spawn. I haven't got one of those yet and I can't do a meteor. Well I can but it's a lot dangerous without the uh, obsidian skull. The obsidian skull allows you to walk on fire blocks without getting hurt. I'm going to use this yo-yo. I just got this thing. Built it last episode. You know what I can do is Mario it up. <laughs> That's so fun. Ah, that is so fun. Oh, I heard a big big snake or worm whoop haha uh -huh. can't get me boy I got slime <laughs> that's so funny man these thorns they hurt kill you faster than the enemies like they, they used to make a joke back then when this game was new. The most overpowered enemy in the game was sand. Because sand was <laughs> knocking people out pretty quick. Man, there's too many vines around here or thorns. Oh, back to the old jungle. Push the R key, get off your mount. Oh yeah, that's a lot more damage. Why did I not put a torch right here? It's so dark. Hey now. Worm. Ah. Dang it. Go ahead and pick up this green mushroom. Why not? It's right there. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. A little bit of guns and roses, I guess. Look, can go a long ways. Yeah, I'm thinking about adding a. Uh, the music track at the intros and outros. I didn't want to do it because it, in the fear of, you know, copyright claims. I've been trying to be careful with that as much as I possibly can. If you watch my Borderlands series, you'll notice that I didn't keep the intro part where they have to play the uh, the movie bit at the beginning because it has the the music in there. Oh, I love the intros to most of Borderlands games. They're cool. But they, there's always copyrighted music, so don't mess with it. I know I could have cut the music out and probably replaced it with something else, but it just wouldn't feel the same because the way they made it, the music goes really well. That big B. It reminds me of the Tim Allen thing in Santa Claus. He's it was a big B. Remember that? <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, Santa Claus. 
So this is what I like about yo-yo is you can do that. You can just keep yourself safe. Just farm these guys from a distance. And, man, all the stuff has to fall down the deepest hole. Oh, yeah. Well, I got one left on the stingers to get to make the blade of grass. And, dang bat. Hey. Yeah, I think they're called hornets, but I always call them bees. Look more like a bee anyways. In my opinion. Look at this. That's why yo-yos are so awesome. Just throw it down there and you don't, they can't attack you because they're hidden behind walls. And you can just farm them away. I need to find more gold for sure. Because... I would like to, before I make it to hell, because I want to make the hell there, because I want to get the uh, flaming greatsword. Before I even fight any bosses besides slime, uh, King Slime. That one couldn't do nothing about. Then I can use up my hearts, and hopefully I can find some more. Oh, I'm poisoned. I'm going a little bit more reckless, it seems, in this video. Maybe I'm getting confident, too confident. As said by Harrison Ford in Star Wars, don't get cocky, kid. Ah, oh, references all day. There's plenty of them, plenty of references. But yeah, this Amazon, the yo yo, is a really good option for early on if you can brave the jungle. This place can be quite dangerous, as you can see. I need to, I need to protect my butt here. I'm getting get knocked out pretty quick here. Another stinger. I definitely got enough stingers to make the blade of grass. I just need spores now. Come on, you can do it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, should I head down this way? Why not? I know I have over a full stack of mud. I've been collecting it. Definitely need a lot more than that. Just to build everything you need. I do got two jungle grass seeds. Last episode I picked up two. On camera, of course. Oh, jeez, dude. One dark hole down here. Say, so, let's put down one of these so I can at least see something. There we go, dig our way through. That's the way to do it. Dang it, dude. I didn't even see him. I heard a stinger throw, but I didn't know it was like literally right in my face. Torches needed. Oh, jeez. Ow. Let's put up a torch right here. Yeah, the jungle is something. Something, uh, something crazy. That's all I gotta say. I haven't still found a good old cloud in a bottle. And it's usually one of the first things I find. Now I got lucky with the whole magic mirror, of course, because that one usually, like, sometimes you start a new world, it takes forever to get one. Sometimes, like in my case, in this let's play, found it pretty quick. Have some yo-yo action. Dang it. Always binds. Binds is as dangerous as the enemies you're trying to take out. I need to use my hearts, but I don't want to use them yet. Because it'll cause Cthulhu to spawn. If you get over 200 health, and I'm right at the, the threshold of that right now. So yeah, when you guys get the chance to replay this game, and I do highly recommend playing this game, it's awesome. For sure, awesome. It's one of those games that never dies, you know, which is not very many these days. That's why I'm playing the Borderlands games, because it's one of those games that you can continue playing over the years. And it's just fun, in my opinion. And that's the point of video gaming. It's not about competition or who's better at this or who can speedrun that. It's about 
fun. Having fun. That's what it boils down to. And if I find Dima game very fun, then that's what I'm going to play. You know, it's not about competition or who's better at who or faster than anybody else. It's about playability and what the content of that game is about, you know? <clears throat> and why is it that I start every time I start doing a commentary, my voice always goes all like, I'm not going to do it today. Yo-yo time. Go down, man. <clears throat> I'll clear the, fo the throat there. All of a sudden, can't talk. I said this in my Borderlands Let's Play. It's like I feel like I'm going through puberty again. I've been through that a long time ago. At least I thought I did. Okay. Get here, B. Oh, aha, look at that. I just got the ancient cobalt leggings. I'm just missing the body. And I would use that. It's not as powerful, but it the cobalt set of armor is literally hard mode. Let's build ourselves a hole up here so I'm not dying just like that. Find a lot of silver. Not enough gold. this yo yo time oh i definitely got plenty of stingers i got 29 stingers i got plenty of this stuff too i kind of want to if i get enough i can just go ahead and make the chakram another beehive is this the same yes yeah, same one and those spores just to let you guys know they respawn not always in the exact same spot that you found them it just they just randomly spawn But so far I haven't found any. This is the level I was finding them at. So what else you can do with the grappling hooks? Climb walls with them. There's a spore up there. I think that was from the last episode. Let's go over here. Deeper yard, you find more of the spores. Well, they want the torch in there, weren't they? I do light fixtures when I'm in tunnels. So when, if I if they're like I run into a a hole of water or something like this, and I dig into it and it starts draining down, the water will drain on the bottom, will not touch your torch, so it doesn't break your light sources. I've had that happen before in the past, where you're like in a tunnel, you put your torch down on the wall or something, then you accidentally flood your tunnel with a source of water that was in the dark, and then you're then you're left in the dark. It's not fun. Now, while I was editing my video, I noticed I missed something somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it was. I gotta rewatch it, but I missed like a uh, crystal on the ground. It, well, it looked like a rock with crystals coming out of it. It's really small. When you break those, you get, you know, diamonds or whatever gem that's represented in color. I want to collect all this silt because you get some good stuff from silt. Plus a pet, a chance of a pet. Oh, three more jungle spores. Can't have enough of that. And I'm trying to find more heart containers or the crystals. Heart crystals. Those are very. I want enough to fill up all my health all at once when I find enough of it. Is this gold? I need more gold. I need lots of gold. It takes more ore nuggets, I guess, if you call it that, to make. Oh, I got a bezoar. Nice. I'll show you guys what the bezoar does. Alright, the bezoar allows you to have immunity to poison. You know how these bees and wasps, when they shoot their stingers or whatever at them, or at you, it causes a chance of poisoning. Well, this will cause the poison to not happen so you become immune to it well I got two pants six armor compared to three wow that's double that's awesome I got another helmet why does I say it like that helmet that's my southern coming out I guess which is not necessarily always a good thing right 
My good old southern boy, I guess. Uh, there's a bee in there. A bunch of bees now. <laughs> Take it down. Gotta get out of there, because that guy right there. Get out of there, man. I want to find this right here. See that dynamite right there? And you have a plunger right here. I want to see. I'm going to find one of these in gold. Because gold, for sure, gives you... Well, these, when you find these, they give you a lot than normal spawns. Let's take these. I don't know what I can use that for. Well, it looks like it is time for the old piggy bank. Where are I getting mushrooms from? Get out of there. Deposit all. There we go. I need to find the chest piece. And I'm going to have a full set and I can wear that. And that's going to be a lot better. As you saw that that pants alone was doubled what I got on now. Okay, I can kill a fish bait through the wall. But I can't hit him. Yeah, I think the worst enemies in here... In my opinion, the bees are annoying and all that stuff, but they're, they're manageable. Never like the slimes, the spike slimes. I find them worse because if you're playing on uh, which I have before, which I might try on my <clears throat> let's play it sometime in the future, is to do the expert mode. And, oh man, those slimes become three times worse than normal. Because instead of shooting one spine at a time, they'll shoot like six in an arcing pattern around you. Yeah, it is. It's very dead. What? I only had one? I guess I did. I only had one of those glow sticks. I thought I had one. No, I don't have to see over there. I don't want to dig straight down. Which you can't do in Minecraft because lava. But in Trey, you can see what's underneath you. Up to a certain point, of course. There's a big bee up there. Look at that. Thing's freaking huge. Oh, look at all this gold. Yes. Give me the gold. Getting the gold rush fever. Nope. Okay. Stay in your wall. Leave me out of your plans. World domination. Now just destroy the torch. And just put down. Wow, well, it is dark. Oh, and more jungle grass seeds. Yeah. I don't mind getting those. Jungle grows so slowly when you try to make your own. Uh, uh, biome. When you make your own little biome. I can make the uh, mushroom one grow really quick. It's not that bad. And the jungle one? Yeah, it takes a long time. See, I'm doing this. I go up. I can build a tunnel going straight up using my grappling hook and the shift key. I think I got enough of the stuff done. Now. Let's see. Yeah, 31, 38. Wow, I got so many of those now. Well, I guess it's time to probably head on back, but I want more stuff. I need more hearts and gold. So, that looks like an off-camera duty. I don't like leaving stuff out. I want to, like, show you guys all the cool whatnots. But just going on a mining, mining expedition might be pretty boring. But I don't want to, like, if I find underground houses or anything else that's cool, I don't want to not put it on camera. I need to find some extra time so I can start a elevator. I haven't found a gravitation potion yet either. I use those to do the, uh, the floating islands. Can't remember what it takes to make a gravitation potion. All right, let's head back home. Let's make the blade of grass. Put away some stuff. Look at all this stuff. 
Uh, we'll put it over here, man. Over there, uh, almost 25 gold. Got the Bezor. I almost have the full set of this stuff. I might farm that stuff for the next episode. I'll farm it off camera and then I'll show you guys on next episode. Oh, what? I want an armor. Unless I thought I did. Alright. So, let's do a quick stack. Ores. Another 40. Yeah, I got 34. And I got all this silt. Let's do the let's do the extract meter. Not like that. Come on, give me all the stuffs. Come on, give me the pet so I can show the pet on camera. Uh, 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 no, no pet. But look at all that stuff you get: money, ores, cool stuff, gems. Put this eye back. I thought I had two of these suspicious looking eyes. But I can't find the second one. It must have been lost somewhere. But it is confusing. Look at all that. Just all that stuff gets put away immediately. So this stuff in here. Critical strike chance and mana. See this stuff that cobalt this set. The ancient set gives you magic upgrade stuff. But I'm okay with that as long as it gives me extra armor. Okay, the rest of this junk, blocks, dies, banners, accessories. I might make this an accessory. I put this last episode, I put this chest down, or the one before, and we'll see if I can make that another accessory chest. Okay, well, where do I want a elevator, guys? I definitely need a elevator somewhere. Maybe on this side? Because in the future, I'm going to dig all this out. Like maybe starting right here. And just dig all this out in a big rectangle. Why is because when you hit hard mode, the corruption slash the hallow will spread across the surface of your world and underneath. So when you, like a three block wide, dig all the way down, even the background wall. It takes a bit of time, but it's worth it. You go down here. You dig a three or four block wide hole all the way down and make sure there's nothing touching on either side like stone or grass. So because the corruption and hallow will spread across stone and it will spread across grass like this on the surface and even background walls. So what you do is that you dig three to four hole uh, wide hole. Let's say I'll demonstrate here. So if you dig like one, two, three, and four, and then you go straight down and then all the way across. And then you basically isolate whatever piece of land that you want to keep from changing. And it's worth it because you don't want the corruption or hallow like part of your your world. You're like especially the corruption. Hallow is not as bad because the enemies don't fly through your walls, but in Corruption, there's like the big giant worms, the Corruptors, which is Soul Eaters, but they look different, they're bigger. They spit Corruption everywhere. Yeah, you don't want all that. And it it becomes a nightmare. Alright, Blade of Grass. Godly. Deadly, it's alright. Get extra damage and speed. 32 melee compared to my 25. This is what it looks like when you swing it. It's big. It's not an auto swing, too. So it's not an auto swing, so you can't hold down the uh, left mouse button. You have to click every time. So you don't get you don't get uh, auto swing weapons until later on. And I think the first time would be that you can craft would be the the saber, the lightsaber thing. I can't remember what it's called, the phase blade, probably. And I might build. I'm not sure if this is going to be a waste. Because you've got this stuff, but this stuff is mana, magic based. But like I said at the beginning of the game, you don't get very many magic options. So it's kind of a waste. But I, I like building this. The Thorn Chakram. That's pretty good. But I might not. I'll probably just save it back. And we're going to start a elevator. Usually by now, I like having 
the lucky horseshoe which comes from the floating islands and a double jump but for some reason I can't find yet hmm I'm trying to figure out where I should build my elevator it's got to be close to my house I don't want to build directly underneath the house or I don't want the elevator directly underneath this house because I'm going to expand this and make more chest room Alright, let's go ahead and start this in. Let's just start it here. Let's do this. Let's put down some of these platforms so my NPCs don't fall down. Which they tend to do. I've had NPCs go all the way down to hell. It's, it's funny. But not that good. You don't want to lose all your NPCs. Okay, let's go ahead and torch down. Torches are 44. Oh, I put them in the hot bar. Now you just dig straight down. Okay, guys, this is ridiculous. I found four of these in this my in my world so far. And usually you only get one. It's just like that ocean that I found. That's all like really badly destroyed on the right side of my world. Remember that, remember that messed up ocean I got? Oh, jeez. That is some deep water. Okay, get out of the water for a second. I need to get me some what will help me out. There's something else I do to my elevators as I build a wall. What am I doing? Like, I'll take my uh, dirt blocks and I'll fill in both sides of my elevator. And that's probably what I'm going to do here. It's slower, but at the same time, I'm protecting myself. can't believe I got another one of those. I have, like, the worst luck with those books. Because later on, they're, they're useless. Because rope is useful at first, but now, at, later on, it's not... It's nothing after you get a grappling hook and whatnot. Okay, I need equipment, right? Yeah. One glow stick? Oh, here we go. It's like one glow stick? That's not all I have. I cleared out this, right? Yep. Yeah. I probably can take on old, for sure, I can take on Cthulhu. But I'm saving that up because I want to take him out in style. He's not a very hard boss, but at the very beginning can be difficult. Of course, this goes for any boss. Try and build up all this. That's what I'll talk about. I fill in everything as a straight path. But who doesn't like watching the process of a elevator being built? Down a torch down here. What I usually do is when I'm underwater, what it's, you know, helpful for me is I'll throw a glow stick straight up, which will cause it to land straight down on the ground down here. So it always follows you where you go. So if I do this, put a glow stick, see how it, it'll follow me straight down. Gives you a light source that's cool. And I like keeping as much water as I possibly can while I'm doing this. Is because this water will come in handy later. Especially when you get to the lava layer. Then you can start making obsidian. And yes, this pickaxe can get obsidian. And I think it's the either gold pickaxe or the shadow pickaxe that will allow you to get obsidian early on you can't actually mine it that's what makes this uh pickaxe awesome that's really worth it so when you guys do get the chance make sure to pick up this pickaxe go fishing it takes a little extra time but that this pickaxe is 100 percent worth 
go dig stuff that normally you're not allowed to dig early on, you know. Like demonite ore, you can't, you know, that stuff takes a bit. That stuff in the desert, which I never ever use, but you can use it if you want to. You can make armor, throwing weapons, that fossil stuff. Get out of the water. Let's put another torch right here. Don't want it too dark down here. Oh, can you believe I'm already, what, seven episodes in? Haven't even really killed any bosses yet, except for Cthulhu. Or not Cthulhu, but King Slime. And we're already going to hell. See, when I play this, most people, because I've watched a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube and Twitch about, you know, Terraria, because I love this game. It's fun to watch people play it, and it's fun to play. And I've never seen anybody play it like I do. I was like, why should you always follow the same mold as everybody else when everybody's unique and individual? So I play it my way. And I've always played it that way. Not always, like recently, like the last few years, I've been playing it like this, where I go to places that is a lot difficult, a lot more difficult, and you're not, you know, not supposed to go there yet until you have certain equipment, but I was like, I don't want to do it like that, I want to play it how I want to play it, when you guys do the same thing, you know, if you play a game, you don't want to play it like every YouTuber out there you ever see, you want to play it how you want to play it, which makes sense to me, I might find some more gold on the way. Let's check out this cave over here. Let's see what's over here. Let me put some light down. See, I've been here because you can see the torches. So, let's just keep on moving along. I want to keep some of this water. And I lost some of my water to this little pool here. This all iron. Oh, that's silver and iron mixed together. Let's take up this wall. I'm gonna try to take most of this water with me. It's dangerous, but at the same time, lava layer will need all this water to make obsidian. All right, let's keep a little hole open there. I don't really need silver because I already got silver armor. Am I? Am I directly? Can't really tell. Yeah, I guess I. I want to make this thing off. Give me some. Yeah, this sword is awesome because it's got a um, a long reach. Oh, that's cool. That was really dark there for a moment. But we survived. And the sword, I think I told you guys before, is that the sword can poison enemies. So it has a chance to poison enemies. Which makes it worth it as well. We'll try to keep some of this water going. You need a bunch of this water to come with you. For the sole reason that you want obsidian. Of course, I've said that several times now. Can't stress it enough, I guess, because obsidian comes in handy, especially when you mine, want to mine meteors and if you want to mine hell. In hell, there's certain blocks called uh, hellstone blocks, and yeah, they you can't walk on them because they're pretty much made out of fire. Oh, there goes all my water. Let's. Well, I can't do another glow stick either because you need to be in water to use a glow stick. Not unless you pull it out like this and then use one. You have to physically do it. Alright, straight down. But since I do know all these water holes are close to my uh, elevator, it's okay I don't have any water in my tunnel at the moment. Because I can just come up here and dig through and then cause that water to come down. 
Because you can direct the water using blocks to where you want it to go. I remember I flooded hell a long time ago. It's like you could keep running into all this water under, underground. And because of that, I had all this water coming with me. Well, it, <laughs> it flooded hell. I might go check out that mushroom biome. See, this is, I didn't show this on camera because I did it off camera. This is a mushroom biome. So you get the mushroom grass seeds and the blue mushrooms. You find a lot of crystal heart containers in these, uh, in those places. I tend to find at least one, sometimes up to four, depending on how big the mushroom biome is. More silver? I'm getting so much silver. I need gold. So much gold. I think it is night uh, when you need a full set of armor. It's a total of 90 blocks. Or, uh, yeah, ingots. It's so much. Compared to 75, which is still a lot. When you think if you play Minecraft, it takes, what, 24 to build a full set of armor? Of anything? And it made it so much more expensive. Go down, bat. Nobody likes bat. Mother slime. Who doesn't like the music to uh, the mushroom biome? Is this the same mushroom biome that I've... Yeah, it is. This is the one I did off camera. I was hoping it'd be a new one. Oh, well. Let's get some extra mushrooms. I'm okay with that. You need so many of those mushrooms later. It takes what? 25 to 40 mushrooms per uh, shroom at bar? It's a lot. Let's get back on the dirt. And you wonder why I collect all these blocks. I collect dirt and stuff just because of this reason right here. And it's handy to have her, you know, to make platforms on the fly if you need to. Come on. A torch or something broke. There we go. Oh, look at all the silt. Silt is pretty worth it, I think. Because this is how I can get my gold, too. It's not guaranteed, but you have a good chance for it all. Diamonds, gold, any of the, even the ores that's not in your world, like platinum. Because, you know, you have a chance of having two different types of ores, the equivalent of each other, spawn in your world. You gotta be either iron or lead, gold or platinum, silver or tungsten. I think adamant, yeah, in the hard mode you have a chance to get an adamantine, and I think adamantine is one of my favorites. Maybe? It's the one that when you get hit, you become invincible for a short time. And I like that one. And this is the slow part. Try to catch that just right. So I can build this tunnel going down. The best way to do is you go like this and you hook it like that. And you just keep doing that. But it's still slow. I'm trying not to bore everybody on these episodes. Just trying to explain how I do things. Like I said at a little bit ago that I don't play this game like everybody else does. I play it how I want to play it. Why should I play it like everybody else, right? That goes for everybody else on the that's watching this. You shouldn't have to play something because a you a, you know a, a famous YouTuber or streamer plays it their way. That's how they play it. So play it how you want to play it. And uh, you know, when I first started this game, when it was pretty new. I thought it was hard. 
it was really difficult and i didn't play it for a year because uh, i kept dying even on the small enemies because i found the game was quite hard maybe a gamer but i'm not very good at it you know so yeah i was uh, i thought this game was hard so i gave up on it for over a year i gave up on it and, like i started it I was like, I can't play this, it's too hard. And yeah, I completely gave up on Charia for a while. For a little over a year, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it again. And that's when I started getting better at it, and I was like, wow, this game is actually a lot of fun. I remember the first time I ever beat a game, my first, because I've been playing games for, or, voice crack there. But yeah, I've been playing games for a long time. And I think somewhere in my uh, description, like info about me, I put that the first game system my dad brought in the house that I remember playing with with my dad was a uh, Sega Master System. I think it was Pole Position was one of the first games he had, a racing game, and. The Sega Master System. I don't even know where that thing went. I like to have it nowadays. I don't have a Sega Master System. I think my dad had a uh, tw uh, Atari 2400 that just stayed in the closet somewhere. I don't think we ever played it that much. But after a while, we did play it together. Got it out of the closet. And <laughs> we used to play that game Combat. Ah, that was funny. It was good old days. It's a tank, tank game, pretty much. Oh, wrong side. I haven't made it to the lava layer yet. But yeah, the first game I actually ever beat was on the Sega Master System. Because my dad gave it to me and my brother to share. Years, several years later. And... Yeah, the first game I, ever, I think I ever full-on beat by myself with no help of anybody was a game called uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Castle of Illusion, I think it's called. And that was my first game I actually ever built. Because me and my brother, we played games together and we beat them like Sonic and whatnot. But the first game I beat on my own with no help from anybody was Castle of Illusion. Man, I got, <laughs> being a kid, I got so frustrated with that game. Like, because, like I said, I, that's the first game I ever beat on my own. So, not very good at it. But I was so proud of myself, and I played that game. Kept failing, kept, you know, dying, restarting, and all that stuff over and over again. But I never gave up. And I finally beat that game. I even got mad one to, to the point where I threw that cartridge and slammed it against the wall. It's so frustrating. But that's it. You just never give up. I don't care what it is. You know, it's like most people like YouTubers, you know. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. But some of them, you notice the channels don't go anywhere. They'll start out and then they just stop. And yeah, it's what it is is that most people give up because like right now I have the, the, these feelings of You know Maybe it's pointless doing what I'm doing with these recordings and stuff And I fear it, you know that I'm not gonna get anywhere with it But I said I'm never gonna give up on it Because right now my view my views and stuff really suck like barely anybody watch any of my stuff It's mainly people that I know like my wife and whatnot. So nobody's watching my videos and it's discouraging. It's really discouraging. But the thing is you don't don't give up. You know, many times in my life I gave up on things I shouldn't have ever gave up on, you know. Don't ever give up too soon. You let stuff you know you, you give it time, you know, patience. Patience is not something heard you know heard of in this day and age as much 
a lot of times it's common sense too you know but yeah it just if you got a project that you are like a dream or a hope don't give up there's no point of giving up because I've you know I've watched YouTube for many years I've always wanted to be a youtuber you know since like 10 11 years ago but being poor not having the funds to do so makes it real difficult to become a youtuber when you have no money to pay for the required items when I saved up and I use tax money when I get a chance you know and I finally now after all these years I finally was able to make my own channel it may not be all flashy and all that compared to other channels but I'm not gonna give up you know on what my dream was and I'm talking about me I'm, you know nobody knows me on here you know and I'll, and I'll elaborate that yeah I don't talk publicly I don't have that very, very many friends I barely go out you know only people I ever go out with are my two sons and my wife you know if we ever go out to eat somewhere or do anything at all so yeah I don't I'm not extremely social well this year I w got up one day and I was like I'm done. I want to do something else better in my life besides sitting behind a grill at a restaurant for the rest of my life making minimum wage. I just couldn't do it no more. So I want to do something else in my life that I enjoy. Yeah, gaming to some people, you know, they say, well, it's just gaming. Get a real job, blah, blah. Well, I have been working a real job since I was 15 years old. I'm almost 40. I have pretty much I don't ask for days off you know I don't ask for holidays or you know vacations or whatever towards the end I started doing doing that because I just couldn't take it anymore I was getting so burnt out well, I was like well you're just a pansy you shouldn't be doing that you know everybody should be out there working their butts off paying for all the taxes and stuff well, yeah, I guess so, but why can't I not do it my way, you know? The, you know, working since I was 15 years old at a restaurant, shouldn't that have been enough, you know? I put in my time. May not be as much as others, I will admit. But I put a lot of time. I worked hard most of my life. And yeah, it is yeah, when I actually officially started working means making a paycheck that was being taxed by the government. Yeah, that was when I was fifteen, but I have been working since I was a kid. The first time I remember helping my mom in the kitchen that's cooking and cleaning and whatnot was six years old. And yeah, it's and I know there's people out there that's worked harder than that. And I, you know, and I thank their, you know, them for the dedication and all that for sure. I'm not saying that, that pe those kind of people are, you know, bad or anything. I just, I can't do it anymore personally. It's just, I don't mind cooking. I cook at the, you know, I'm the cook at the house. But I can't just no more of that restaurant environment no more doing that stuff anymore yeah i just don't want to do it and i always wanted to be a youtuber you know since i've been watching youtube i am a gamer you know just like most of everybody out there so i had a dream you know i did have a dream that's taken me 10 up to 12 years since youtube's been around pretty much to make my own you know, first channel to do it myself and coming from somebody that's not social whatsoever it's kind of hard for me you know but I was like when I woke up like I was talking about the early on I woke up one day and I was like I'm done you know I can't you know I just can't do that anymore I was smoke I've been smoking you know cigarettes since I was 13 years old and I remember when that happened. 
So I smoked a long time. And I, I was like, I'm done with that. I'm not smoking no more. I'm I'm changing. I'm completely not the same person I was a year ago. And here I am now. I'm doing something I always wanted to do for many years now. I have my own channel, even if there's nobody watching it. I feel like I accomplished something, you know. Yeah, would I like to make money off of YouTube, you know? Yeah, sure. You know, that's I want to make this my full-time job. But, you know, this is what I enjoy. I, I love playing games. I have been playing games for a long time, even though I suck at them. I have a little bit of water here. I wonder if this will save me if I fall into it. I want to fly up like that. Okay. Oh, it looks like I'm getting close to the old lava layer. I saw some light down there. Sorry, I was just ranting on about my personal life there, you know, but I just wanted to, the point is, is that I wanted to be a YouTuber. I see all these other YouTubers out here that became big and lots of money and whatnot. And they worked at it. They worked their butts off on it and look at them now. I never got a chance to actually play the game. Or, what am I saying, play the game, but be a YouTuber because, well, I was poor, so it, this stuff's not that cheap. Like a capture card, the video editing and the audio editing stuff, you know, it's kind of expensive. So I couldn't never afford it. So, but look at me now. I had a dream to do it, and I never gave up on that dream. And what I'm trying to, what well, my point is, pretty, uh, <clears throat> everybody else is that don't give up you know if you got a dream if you're something you want to do in your life either that be a doctor or construction or just anything don't ever give up there's too much of that going around these days is that people give up too early before they give it a chance and don't ever give up that's all I gotta say and I uh we almost made it to the lava layer, so we're almost close to hell. And this is going to be the end of this episode. That was my personal life elevator episode. And uh, so, just just don't give up, guys. You know, just continue. And if you got a dream, always continue and work towards that dream. There's no point to giving that up. Because I didn't give it up, and look at me now, I actually have a channel now, you know, and I've always wanted to do this for a long time. Alright guys, I will call that an episode, and if you uh, would like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button, and if you like my commentary and gameplay, hit that like button, and don't forget about the notification bell to keep up with my latest videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.